What's going on everybody, it's Mark here with another video. Today, we are taking a look at the most basic, minimalistic build I could have done with my setup. If you take a look, there is hardly anything on it. Let me go through everything that's on the desk, in the drawers, under the table, and hopefully you guys like it. The main ornament of this desk is the ultra-wide monitor. This is a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor. It's a 21 by 9 ratio. I believe it's called the LG 34UM88C. Uh, links to everything are going to be down below as always. But this monitor, honestly, is the best purchase I have made. No, it's not curved. No, it's not the brand new 38-inch. But the amount of screen real estate I get on this, honestly, makes editing super fast, makes all my schoolwork so easy is the best purchase I have made in a very, very long time. I didn't really comprehend how much real estate this was until I opened my iTunes. I listened to a lot of music, a lot of Apple music to be specific, and when I opened that and I saw all my album art, my jaw, to the floor. It was unbelievable, so much screen real estate. Okay, the second thing I wanna talk about are the peripherals. Before all of you Apple keyboard hater, Magic Mouse haters, start commenting down below. I wanted to make the transition from my MacBook to this somewhat desktop-like situation as minimal as possible. So for that reason, I went with the Apple key Magic Keyboard, the Apple Magic Mouse, which I already had, and in addition, a secondary mouse, the Logitech MX Master Pro. The reason for two mice over one is that both of these have their strengths and weaknesses. I like to have both at my desk at all times just for the ease of use. So the Logitech mouse is very good at editing and high demand usage. Whereas the Apple mouse, super simple. Swipes here, swipes left. So when I'm doing a lot of editing, this mouse right here, the Logitech MX Master Pro is the mouse I use. But when I'm on Facebook, Instagram, whatever the case may be, this Apple mouse is what I choose. Now, for sound, what isn't broken don't fix it is what I like to say. And these are speakers that I've had for about seven years now. These are the Logitech THX speakers. Um, they're 2.1, I believe, yeah, 2.1 sound system. And honestly, they are the best sounding speakers I have ever owned. So obviously, there's no MacBook on the desk. So you're probably asking yourself, how do you use your portable hard drives or your USBs? The way I solved that was using an Anchor uh, USB port there. All four ports are USB 3.0, so I have some pretty quick transfer speeds. Nothing astronomical, but it does the job just fine. Okay, and there's two items I didn't talk about that are on the desk. First one being is a coaster. I don't want to damage this beautiful wood refurbished desk by a hot beverage. And second one is a forever spin. So whenever you have those long editing sessions or those long studying sessions, sometimes you need a little distraction for your fingers. I like to spin the top and gives me some amusement for about two and a half minutes. Okay, so you're probably wondering what is powering this setup? You don't see a Mac on the top. You don't see a Mac anywhere to be seen. So let me take you to the drawers and hopefully we set, find something there. So in the top drawer, we have some highlighters, some pens, some colorful markers, USBs, pretty typical stuff. I'm a full-time student, so all of that comes in super handy. In the second drawer, I have a few cords here, the main one being a lightning port for stuff to be charged, some blocks, uh, a Kaisify case, keys, wallet, and LED remote. Why don't we get the lights? What setup is complete without some LEDs? This one isn't. I put an LED strip in the back over there just to give it a little quick accent. It looks really sweet when it's really dark, as it is right now, I think it gives great personality to the desk and adds a little bit of homey touch. Okay, so that's the LED strip in the back there. Now, all of this is running off of what is in this drawer. This is my 2013, 2013. This thing is old and it's powering all of this MacBook Pro 15 inch retina display. Okay, and the last thing that I wanna show you guys is the cable management. I took a few minutes and actually was able to make it look pretty good underneath the desk. The only cables that are coming out over here are the ones for the monitor, speaker, and USB port. Everything's nicely wired up, down, and into the drawer where the computer is. There's a hole in the back of the drawer there, so everything is fed nicely. If you guys haven't seen the video where I actually built this desk, it's gonna be linked down below, but for now, 
Thank you very much for watching. And as always, please hit that like, share, subscribe button down below. Additional brownie points can be found if you follow me on all of my social media. Obviously, links are also in the description. For now, thank you very much. See you on the next one. They're on there. Take the sticker off. Around here.